everyone, today I've got my Judas and the Black Messiah movie review. One FBI informant goes undercover to infiltrate the Black Panther Party and find out what the leader Fred Hampton is up to. Will this have a good or bad outcome? So as far as the story goes, directed by Shaka King and produced by Ryan Coogler, this movie's tone right off the bat has this edginess to it that I feel like we had seen in a lot of thrilling gangster style movies and it felt a little bit like Gangs of New York but not this over the top super duper violent movie that that movie portrays itself to be and not just because the stakes feel the same with the lead character that is reminiscent to a movie like The Departed as well as parallels in another movie last year's The Trial of the Chicago 7, which is actually conveniently set during the same time as this movie. So you'll probably see a lot of the same things being mentioned here as well as in that movie. And when you have these competing forces at work trying to, you know, prove they are fighting for a just cause or just doing their jobs, as a viewer, you want to root for the hero of the story. And there is a lot of history to delve into here, especially when there are not just clashes with the white power groups and the Panthers, but with the police as well. And this is actually based off of a true story that is still very well relevant today. As far as the casting goes, Lakeith Stanfield plays FBI informant William O'Neill, who is excellent in his role, where when he goes undercover, he's risking his life and potentially exposing the truth about his intentions when he's hanging out with Fred Hampton and the rest of the Black Panther party. There are subtle nuances to what he does and I feel like it works really well with his character that you are on the edge of your seat and holding your breath. It's amazing. Daniel Kaluuya is Fred Hampton of course who has already won some major awards for his powerhouse performance but it is one that you can't help but love him because he pulls it off with this sly charm and cleverness. He is easily one of the standouts in this movie. Jesse Plemons is a special agent that questions what O'Neill does a lot, but he can sometimes be seen as this flawed character with good intentions. Even Martin Sheen, who plays J. Edgar Hoover, who wants to stop Fred Hampton and the Black Panther Party. And not only did I actually hardly recognize him with his makeup job, but that made him more ruthless and terrifying to watch on screen. And everyone else I feel like had a pretty good performance as well and all very well acted. The things that I liked about this movie was that it is fast paced despite, you know, some scenes being dialogue heavy, but I feel like the action speaks for itself but it really kept my interest with everything that was going on, especially when this is a movie that's set during a time period that, you know, maybe some people don't want to have to relive over and over again, but the, the visuals were just crazy to watch. And it has this symbolism that is so precise to the movie's title, but it is, a very tragic one to remember because it sticks with you to the very end. So overall I would say that I was really impressed with this movie. I actually saw it a couple times when it was on HBO Max. It is one of those movies that still has a lot of history behind it and one that I feel like is one not to miss. So I would highly recommend seeing this movie for those of you who haven't 
definitely check it out. So I would give this five hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Judas and the Black Messiah. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates. Come back every week for a Child Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys later.